Hello everybody, this is Abby with Rogue Pisces, back again. Uh, today I'm going to be doing, I'm going to knock out a couple of the Pisces daily readings for you. Uh, it is Canadian Thanksgiving, where I am here in Canada. So I'm just chilling in my bathrobe. Don't mind me, sleeves might get in the way a little bit. Okay, let's see what we have for the Pisces Collective. So this can be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any of your major placements. And just general read. We'll see whatever pops up. If it resonates, fantastic. I am happy for you. Let me know. Drop a like, drop a comment. If not, maybe it wasn't for you. Try again tomorrow. Let's see what we have here. Okay, for Pisces. Today's Okay. Chatty today, are we? Okay, that's a lot. Oh, but I want them. Okay. I'm gonna go like this. What are you? Oh. Okay. Let's just go with it and see what happens. Okay, so today's energy we have the Ace of Cups and the World. And in today's theme, we have the Six of Cups and Judgment. In the Challenge position, we have the Death card. Okay, so we have fixed signs here, so Taurus and Leo, Cups energy, water signs, and Scorpio with the death card. Suggested course. Okay. Nine pentacles. Wrapping up yesterday. Okay. All right. And tomorrow. Key to tomorrow. So key to tomorrow. Have the key to tomorrow, please, spirit. What's this? Okay, Queen of Cups, the water sign energy, more specifically, Cancer, but uh, can be any water sign. And what do we have at the bottom of the deck? The magician, our friendly little magician, has been hanging out a lot lately for Pisces. Okay, so before I start clarifying, the energy today seems to have a lot to do with emotions could be offers of love could be friendship could be family um and the world also the sense of something coming to a completion something starting anew right the world is sort of like a portal that we walk through and that takes us from one life stage to another and there being a lot of emotion tied up in that which i mean it's a pretty emotional thing to go through so that's understandable um i'll get more when i clarify though we also have in today's theme the six of cups so nostalgia could be thinking about family family friends and the judgment card um now this combination of things these two cards together often make me think of someone from your past whether it's an ex an old friend maybe an estranged family member an old um, business associate whatever but someone from the past being on your mind and considering giving something there another chance whether it's to reach out front to a childhood friend or to call an estranged parent or something like that there's there's some kind of energy like that in the air right now okay in today's challenge we have the death card which is all about transformation right it's about something ending and new beginnings coming up because the the sun is rising oops sorry the sun is rising on the death card right across between the towers 
those are the same two towers that appear on the moon card. So once you go through this portal, um, the transformation kind of happens. Okay, and what do we have here? <sighs> okay, so our energy for today is being clarified for Two of Cups. So for a few of you, I'm going to say that this feeling is probably associated with a particular person or a particular relationship. Oh my goodness. Sorry for all the honking outside. It's raining and so everyone forgets how to drive and they all go crazy. Okay, so Two of Cups. So I feel like a particular person um, is on your mind, whether it's someone that you lost touch with in the past on purpose or if you just drifted from them. There's someone in particular, okay? Someone who was just a great... They could have been a really great friend, um, could have been, like, I don't know. It's odd to say parent, but like a parental figure maybe that's coming to me. I got foster parent. Um, maybe someone that took care of you and cared for you. There's a lot of reflection and having to seem to do with these sort of life stage cycles, okay? So you may be going through something right now where you're feeling sort of as though you're stepping from one one sort of era of your life into another and it's making you reflect upon the past and the people that you've loved and the people that have been important to you. Um, in our theme, so along with the nostalgia, again, we also have Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords being about the closing out of a painful cycle, okay? There's no Eleven of Swords because the Ten of Swords is where it stops. Um, so it could be that because something rather painful has ended for you, could be, I'm getting um, sort of major life um, transitions. So maybe divorce, uh, maybe you're mourning the loss of a person or a relationship a marriage, a job loss, something like that. Something painful has closed out and a new thing is starting. You're seeing a lot of potential, but it's also kicking up a lot of emotion. And there being perhaps like past that phase of, there was a lot of sort of discontent and um, boredom and confusion in a few of the past readings. And now it looks like it's sort of settling into a stage of accepting that things are different. The death card here is also being clarified um, by the Eight of Wands. You might need to move or this per like if there's someone that this is about, it could be about them being far away from you. Um, could be that communication is the thing that is making this transition difficult in one way or another. Maybe you're wanting more communication. Or maybe there's a bunch of communication coming in and that's what's got you thinking about people. Um, let's see. This is ringing your bell. Let me know because it's interesting to just kind of talk to the internet. <laughs> okay, so in our suggested course, we have nine pentacles. What's nine pentacles about, please, spirit? The eight of wands. Ooh. Okay. And we've got our nine wands again. Okay. So this feels to me like an encouragement. All right. If you are someone who is, if you are by yourself, if you are unpartnered at the moment, then this feels like a, an encouraging nudge to see yourself, solidify your self-image in this Nine of Pentacles pre-Empress energy, which is entrepreneurial, self-assured, um, someone who is not single because they have to be, but is single because they choose to, because they are content and happy and have everything that they need, okay? Um, the Wounded Warrior here, Nine of Wands energy, is very much to do with sort of giving things one last push, so... Um, with there being so much kind of movement and change in the air, 
it looks like it's saying like, all right, cool, settle in, get yourself a plan and then push. Uh, that's what I'm getting at least. <laughs> Hopefully that's resonating for you guys, but that's what's coming to me. Eight of Wands can also be um, arrows of love. So you could have a few people um, sending you messages. It has a lot to do with communication and travel and particularly air travel. You might have to fly somewhere um, to start a new chapter of your life, whether that's going to school or starting a new job okay to wrap up yesterday we have a lot of earth energy so we have the eight of pentacles which is all about hard work attention to detail having all the fruits of your labor behind you and sort of focusing in on everything that you're working on um can also do with preoccupation with work or sort of can be like a workaholic card for me um but it's also clarified by king of pentacles so it looks like what i'm getting is in, this makes combination of cards makes me want to tell you to kind of keep your head down as far as work goes and sort of plow through it with an image in your head of that goal and that it isn't important to know exactly how you're going to get there yet but to just envision yourself in this king of pentacles energy and to just plow forward to it so to help you wrap up whatever you've been feeling over the last couple days now pentacles of course have to do with um like money and material objects, houses, you know, real coin, right? Um, work, all of that kind of stuff. But pentacles can also have to do with relationships in the 3D and in practical sort of emotions, at least I feel. Um, so there could be very much a focus, whether it's you having, okay, beautiful. If you, are still feeling some uh, need to wrap up what you've been feeling over the last few days. This appears to me to be guidance to telling you, okay, so you, you've started to eke out a plan, it seems, and you're starting to really pay attention to the details. So now, really see yourself in this Ten of Pentacles, or this King of Pentacles energy. It's funny I said Ten of Pentacles, because that's where he lives. That's where the King of Pentacles lives, is in Ten of Pentacles land. Um, see yourself there and just put your head down and start to move towards it. This is making me feel like that act as if statement for some reason. Act as if you already have it. And that doesn't mean throwing your money around like you're one of these people who acts wealthy but is for real poor, you know? Um, you know, ed educate yourself about, you know, your your material world um, and like your education, even your emotions, right? How to take proper care of yourself. We don't always learn that as we're growing up. So sometimes we have to take the initiative to educate ourselves, right? So whatever it is, fake it till you make it is kind of what I'm getting there. But don't fall into any traps. Act like someone who's really wealthy, which is usually um, they're wise with their money often. Okay, and then in Arquita tomorrow, we have the Eight of Cups, both water sign energy and the Queen of Cups. The Eight of Cups talks about walking away from the things that no longer serve us. We, whatever we had at one time, because cups are all about emotional fulfillment, they're all about... Um, you know, this is all love and wine and enjoyment and fun and games and stuff that this person had. And they've they've realized they've come to a point where this doesn't this isn't going to get them where they want anymore. So now they're choosing to walk away from their eight cups so that they can go towards nine cups. Nine cups is wish fulfillment. And 
this is clarifying our Queen of Cups, which is water sign energy, all right? So this is heavily, mm, it's Pisces, <laughs> it's water sign, it's big deal, time. So I feel that that's Pisces being represented there. And we have the magician at the bottom of the deck, which just speaks even stronger of manifestation and change. And then what we have here. Yeah, four of pentacles. So holding on too tight, but there being stability coming in. Okay. Options, lots of options. A tower. But I mean, towers can do a change. No fighting, no conflict, not wanting that. Yeah. So it looks like, for a number of you, there's a lot of reflection going on right now um, and tied into moving forward, which is looks positive, uh, looks really nice. Okay, now let's do our Oracle card for the day. Move one for Pisces, please. One for Pisces today. One for Pisces for this day's reading, please. One for Pisces for this day's reading, please. One for Pisces. Can we have one for Pisces, please, Spirit? One for Pisces. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. And we get two again. I'll just read the, the general messages and skip the preamble. But interestingly enough, I have TikTok. Um, so that talks about time being a factor and also loyal heart. I don't think I've read these ones yet. Give me one second. So number 30 and number 35 for any of you that want to Google them afterwards to read them a little more in depth. This is from the Wisdom of the Oracle. So TikTok, I'll put that on top here, okay? So the essential meanings are timelessness, divine timing, and immeasurable time. The relationship message is love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be coerced. Everything has its season. It's divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love to find it, to nurture it, to give it and receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart. In perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. That's nice. Then prosperity message. Your prosperity is co-created by your endeavors as they occur in human-made time and the eternal efforts of your most important manifestation partner, spirit, in a divine measureless time. So keep doing what you're doing. Stay positive and make a commitment to remain in high vibration thoughts and feelings. If you heed the message of this card, it will seem as if you will align with your highest calling and your highest good in no time at all, like magic. So what's all the fuss about not having enough time? The prosperous life that is yours will never pass you by. That sounds good to me. Um, let's do number 35 here. I watched a documentary about people in the southern United States, and I feel like I'm twanging now. <laughs> so sorry if... I also watched Tyler's Tarot earlier, and he always makes me twang. Um, okay, so this is 35, loyal heart. It's fidelity, loyalty, and devotion. Okay, it says in relationships, your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Prosperity message. Your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions where your aspirations for success as assume form in reality. Success is finally taking shape. 
If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans while making, remaining flexible, and devoted to serving others, you will be shown proof of your true prosperity. This is a time for joyful celebration of spirit, your manifesting partner. <laughs> manifesting yet again. Okay. Well, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really happy that you stopped by. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you wish, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you don't want notifications on, to hell with them. <laughs> if you like it, cool. I, I get notifications for channels I like, but I understand it's kind of a pain in the butt to have them pop up all the time. I'm just happy you come by. Please check me out again, and I'll see y'all soon later. Bye now.